felt like I needed to uh, communicate. I basically looked to graffiti as something I wanted to become a part of. Creating a new identity, portraying myself as that person. I've come from a two fair zone, it seemed like just yesterday I had to take the two and the five to the junction to walk the rest of the way. We used to hop and never drop a token over the turnstiles like Edwin Moses and run from the cops like Jesse Owens. Track stars riding in between the cars. Graffiti is freedom. You know, that's what graffiti is to me, pure freedom. There's definitely a rush. You're in there, you're sneaking in, you know, you're with your homeboys. There's like this feeling, you know, you hear trains, the motor kind of clicking on and off. You hear the tracks change. There's all these elements that add to the whole mystique of that's in a way, you know, you can't even really describe that to people now. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why I write graffiti. It's kind of how like when people have conquered something, they stick a flag in it at the end. And that's my version of my flag, maybe. The definitions of art and graffiti are completely different. But why is it this way? Graffiti is simply another form of art just portrayed in public places. The issue of whether graffiti is a legitimate form of art or is just simply vandalism has been long debated. However, the issue of graffiti is slightly biased, as what gets shown to us through all forms of the media is monitored by the bourgeoisie, who usually take the side that graffiti is just vandalism, and there is no exceptions of it being a form of art. It could be argued that the high-class bourgeoisie are halting the advancement of graffiti into legal society as it provides an aesthetic hindrance on the building and surrounding areas. Also, if you look at it from the media stance and power the high-class have, it is clear that accepting graffiti as art will clearly make people who would otherwise be underneath them in class hierarchy rise above them in terms of appreciation and media spotlight. Marxists may say that people use graffiti as a rebellion against the system, voicing their opinions through artwork so their opinions are seen and heard rather than being sent through a series of government officials. Another view may show that people who carry out graffiti are usually low class and use graffiti as an activity that distracts them from the real class problems that they're going on through. Graffiti provides an activity people can carry out without being consciously oppressed by the society they live in. The lumpen proletariat is a part of the working class that Karl Marx described as to never achieve class consciousness. Marx would say that even though the proletariat class would be convinced their involvement in society is a vital part and their economic and social power is yet to be increased, in fact it all leads to the advancement in the material interests of finance aristocracy and the bourgeoisie class. Graffiti and other means of social destruction means that the issue of class divide doesn't become evident to many people. As long as they are conforming to conspicuous, conspicuous consumption and high materialism, the problem is underlying but rarely noticeable. In order for someone to understand what situation they are in in terms of status, they must deduct all activities in their lives that distract the real issues. example of someone who has passed through the spotlight in a unique way is Banksy, a street artist from Bristol. Banksy portrays many political messages in his artwork that expose the true nature of our society and how it is governed. These photographs of Banksy's political graffiti show us how our capitalist-run system is intent on controlling all of us through large businesses, advertising and an overall consumerist culture. However, Banksy remains anonymous throughout his career and we are still yet to find out exactly who he is. Banksy is essentially a lifetime performance act, using street art as his props for communication. He is hiding behind a mask which may be to enhance his persona. Banksy's anonymity would apply to Goffman's dramaturgical model. He is using all the props and setting whilst wearing a mask in order to portray his persona.
postmodernists support new ideas and aspects of culture that fuse together distinctions between high and popular culture. This is known as cultural implosion. Recognition by the art world and inclusion in galleries and auctions is one way that graffiti art is legitimised as real art. In addition, this exposure has helped the graffiti movement to become launched into the rest of the world. The film's the story of what happened when this guy tried to make a documentary about me. Graffiti should be legal as big corporations only regurgitate graffiti themes in a lot of products they sell, like these products which all feature graffiti used in writing or styles. Graffiti is seen as either a form of art or simply vandalism. However, uh, Brazil introduced a new way of using street art to spread awareness of breast cancer through a graffiti intention. The murals show women who have undergone a mastectomy and had a physical scar left in place. The intent of the murals was to show the importance of checking and finding early symptoms of cancer. JWT, which is a marketing company in Brazil, has provided quality information about the prevention and early diagnosis of breast cancer. These graffiti pieces have a strong impact on passers-by. It changes the way people view others who take part in graffiti and changes the overall outlook to a positive one. These kinds of murals are what people like to see filling their streets along with work like Banksy's, who spread important messages about our society today. When people who view these pieces as art who would usually see them as vandalism, it is clear that, that the luminality and social boundaries has decreased for each individual. Would strongly support this movement of graffiti intervention as it is displaying the real problems many women have to go through. In this case, many feminists would agree that graffiti is art as it can enable artists to spread awareness in a public area that everyone can see. Graffiti should be considered as art as it can clearly provide awareness for certain problems, it can decorate a whole street and finally provide a canvas to be used to show political and social issues. Artists such as Banksy are making graffiti become a well respected action, which hopefully will continue to progress into the legalisation of graffiti in all areas.